Hey guys, welcome back to Bumbit TV. So today we're going to check in out one of your commentations. Guys, today we're going to check in out why Muslims don't celebrate Christmas. Why am I doing that? Guys, this is going to be amazing. Like, I want to know, but I feel why they don't celebrate Christmas because we believe Jesus was not born on Christmas. Day. And we Christians, some of us believe that. So, Christ Christ Jesus was not really born on Christmas. Day. Jesus was supposed to be born June, July, August. September around those period, but it's I feel we, we we actually celebrate his birthday on that day, even though we know because it wasn't recorded. And I don't know who came up with the but all my life I've been in a Christian background, like I've been in Christian society. When I came to college, I kind of met some Muslims, like that was the spark of inspiration for me to start this Muslim journey, but like meeting them when they celebrate Ramadan, like we, we like me, my Christian friends, we actually celebrate with them, and it's something that is beautiful. You seeing them cheering, you seeing them dressing, like it's always beautiful. Like it's an amazing experience. If you're a Christian out there, like just try and celebrate with them. It's beautiful. And when we celebrate Christmas, my Muslim friends actually celebrate with us. In the sense that we go out together, we celebrate it, but. Let's hear what he has to say, guys. Guys, this video is actually sponsored by ProIn. Guys, they sell amazing glasses, guys. You need accessories, and this is going to make your look transform. Like, they have high-quality products, and I can tell you, you need to check them out. Guys, you're going to get amazing offers. The product is really, really affordable, so you can check it out. Guys, let's get straight into this. We in Islam are made to believe, through the lips of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu that Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe in his miraculous birth, that without any male intervention he was born. We believe in his many miracles, including those of giving life to the dead by God's permission and of healing those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. We believe. But we are in conflict with regards to his birthday. I was questioned whether we commemorate Christmas. I said, look, we enjoy Christmas holidays. Christmas holidays we enjoy, but we don't commemorate Christmas. If we only knew the date of his birth, we would also celebrate his birthday. Like it's a Miladun Nabi. We'll have Miladul Masih. We'll have the birthday of Jesus. But when was he born? They tell us 25th of December. Christmas Day, 25th of December. But he was not born on the 25th of December. Today the Christians have come to realize, the learned men of Christendom, that he was not born on the 25th of December. This 25th of December is the, day, is the date of the birth of the pagan sun gods. Not the son of God. Son of God in inverted commas. Not the son of God. But the sun god. You know what it means? You see, you people here, this is the Northern Hemisphere. I come from the South. This is the Northern Hemisphere. And as winter approaches, December, it gets colder and colder here for you people. And as December 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, the primitive man, he could sense day by day, they can see the sun in the distance. Far away, it's going east to west, further and further away, and it's getting colder and colder. So they personify that, that the devil is eating up the sun. Though so they start beating drums and start offering prayers, that the sun may not be swallowed up, because if it gets swallowed up, they'll be finished for good. 24th of December, the equinox, and now you see the 25th, those primitive people in the northern hemisphere, they could sense the variation in temperature day by day. 25th, they can see the sun coming back into its own. In other words, the sun has now come out supreme. It has not been, a, the, the devil didn't swallow up the sun. It's coming back. So that is the date of the birth of the sun god. Sun god, the sun has come back into its own. Those, they celebrated Christmas. Birth of, not Jesus Christ, the birth of the sun god, Baal, Horus, Apollo, Astarte, 
all these were the sun gods worshipped in the Mediterranean region. And their birthday was the 25th of December. So when the, the people became Christianized under Constantine, they accepted that birthday of the sun as the birth of the son of God, in inverted commas. So it is not the birthday of Jesus. The Quran tells us very, very clearly that when Jesus was born, his mother Mary was told, he says, shake the palm leaf, the leaf of the palm leaf, date palm, and it will let fall fresh ripe dates. Means the dates were ripe, ready. You just shake it and shh, the thing will fall. And you can eat and refresh yourself with the rivulet, the small river running by, refresh yourself. After the birth of the child, she is told that. So it was midsummer. If the Quran says that the dates were ripe, it means midsummer, not midwinter. Palestine is in the northern hemisphere. Your winter and their winter is the same. So you don't have winter in midsummer. Dates in midsummer. So it was midsummer. Then the Bible also says that when Jesus was born, the shepherds were out in the field. Now the shepherd is a fool. If he with his sheep stays out in the open in Palestine, in midwinter, he will freeze to death and his, his, his sheep will freeze to death. So if you reason the Quran and the Bible, they both confirm that Jesus was not born on the 25th of December in midwinter. Yeah. But may, most Christians now believe that. We, we believe that he was not born on the 25th. But it's only a day actually, you know, some people actually have their birthdays on. I mean, my birthday is on February 14th, Valentine's Day. But I can choose that it will be on a Tuesday, on a Monday. This, I think Monday or Tuesday. I don't know. I need to go for my photo shoot. But that aside, but <laughs> that aside, I can choose to celebrate my birthday on a Sunday. But that does not mean that is my birthday. But that was the day I chose to celebrate it. And I think we Christians, based on the fact that we were ignorant, I don't know if I will use the word ignorant, but people way back started celebrating. Cause that was we were born in. We were born when they were celebrating Jesus' birthday on the 25th. Even if we know he wasn't born on that day, but that was the day people choose to celebrate it. Based on the fact that we have done research and see that Jesus was not born on the 25th, which I feel Christmas is supposed to stop, but now I feel Christmas is about showing love and celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. But... Jesus was not born to the fifth death. That's, I, I said, like before I said the video, I actually said it. So based, I, I've been watching the video, like I've been going deep into this religion stuff. So I actually came to the conclusion since that you don't know what. Guys, I should like, share, subscribe my channel. I'll see you next time. Peace.